Good morning and welcome to the Farm and Home Show. My name is Kristen Hildebrand. I'll be your host and joining with us is Joanna Cole. She's our Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Joanna. Good morning, Kristen. Yes, so I know there's a lot going on right now, mm -hmm. kind of almost pandemonium, but uh, we've gotten a lot of questions at the Extension Office about where to find food because at the grocery store, I mean, the, the shelves are just pretty much empty. Yes, and you know, I think some people, they're, they're fearing about food shortages and things like that. There's plenty of food in the food chain. We just sometimes have to know where to look. And you don't have to look very far, Kristen. We have a lot of growers right here in Warren County and the surrounding counties that can really meet some needs of nutritious products for your family that are fresh and they are so delicious and so enjoyable. This is a great time to support them because farmers, they are not affected by it sometimes like we are, mm -hmm. but they have other challenges. They have all this product right now and sometimes people aren't attending the farmer's markets or maybe those farmer's markets have gone to a different way mm -hmm. of delivering product. But those farmers are still working hard every single day working to produce food that's great for us. We just sometimes have to know where to find them. Yes, and we're so lucky to have farmers uh, available to us and really America does have a safe food supply and the farmers do work hard. So what kind of um, products are available this time of year and what farms do you think that we could check out? Well, a lot of the products that are available right now are greens, and your mama always said, eat your greens, and there's plenty of them out there. And we still have a lot left over from the winter. You know, we have some sweet potatoes, onions, potatoes, butternut squash, all yes. kinds of different winter squashes mm -hmm. that are very good and affordable for your family. I know people are probably watching money about this time, mm -hmm. but all those good products are available. And for our farm fresh eggs, meats, cheeses, we've had a lot of calls about where do I get meat because I went to the store and there's not any meat left. We have a lot of meat growers and about every protein that you could want, we have ways to access that. Yes. The thing about it is we would just encourage you to reach out to that farmer because things are changing on a daily basis, Kristen. Yes. You know, right now we still have our community farmers market open. That's on Nashville Road and they're usually open Tuesday afternoons and Saturday mornings. But with things changing so rapidly, we would encourage you to check out their social media page and make sure that they're going to be open. But those growers can also maybe make arrangements with you for delivery or maybe some pickup ideas. So I would just make sure to, to know your farmer. We encourage that. Um, but reach out to them now and see what the options are available. At our Soki Marketplace Crop Shop that's open year round, they have closed the doors to the public, mm -hmm. but they are offering a list of things that they have available. And you can go on there. There's value added products. There's wine, cheeses, meats, all kinds of different things. And you can place your order and schedule a pickup time there downtown, or they can deliver within a certain area as well. Mm -hmm. So two great options where you can get a lot of different products all at one time. Gotcha. Now what about some of the meat vendors that you were talking about? Absolutely. Now we have beef vendors, pork vendors. One of our beef vendors is in Smith's Grove, um, Lowe's Angus Beef. It, they have a great setup of how you can purchase it, because a lot of people, they don't have room to store a half a beef. Mm -mm. Um, they do have some options available for for that if you do, but they also have packages that you can purchase and you know it was raised right up the road. Also Hudnall Farms um, pork that's available and you can go and contact them and maybe find a time to pick up. They have a lot of frozen product that you'll be able to purchase there as well. And we have Kentucky Proud sauces and all kinds of things to accompany all those as well. So I would encourage you to check out if you don't know where to go, go to KentuckyProud.com mm -hmm. and you can find where you live and vendors that are right there around you to be able to make sure that you have local good fresh food for your family. Yeah, like you said, right now is a crucial time and we can just, uh, you know, go to our local farmers and get this food that's available to us and so we really appreciate you coming on uh, the Farm and Home Show today to talk to us about it and if anybody has questions how do they get in touch with us? Yeah they can just give us a call at the extension office we're still open even though we're, we're close to the public so they can give us a call at our number they can send us an email or they can reach out to us on social media. Yes thank you again Joanna and we appreciate you guys watching the Farm and Home Show today make sure if you have any questions to give your local extension office a call thanks for watching I hope you have a great day.